So, I think Kryptonite. I think we already ran you through most of your normals, didn't we? Um, Corpse, there's a red quest over here. I already picked it up. Sweet. Let me, let me know when you guys are ready. We're ready now. Let's start the normal. So I'm going to be explaining the raid as we go through. Um, that way anybody who doesn't know or has forgotten um, can pick up on what is necessary for the raid. Switch my titles really quick. Alright, so for this first room, you want to burst down all of the mobs before you touch the main boss. After the mobs are done, the boss is now able to be damaged. You burst him down with your biggest damage dealing skills. Good job. So for this first room, there's gonna be three waves. Robot big hands is usually best to use here. Uh, we probably should have staggered our robot big hands, but it's fine. I still haven't used mine yet, don't worry. Awesome. So the best way to avoid these grenades, these bombs, when they stop moving, they are going to explode. If you have robot big hands still, I would use it now. So not only will the bombs explode when they stop moving, but however, the bombs also typically roll in certain um, length intervals. Once you memorize those length intervals, it's easier to avoid them. Also, the closer you are to the wall, the closer you are away from their explosion. So there are multiple mobs that spawn in this room. There are mini bosses that also spawn within those multiple mobs. The mini bosses or what you want to watch out for because they do a decent amount of damage if you don't have the proper uh, gear and HP pool. Um, so that was the third wave. This next room, there's going to be fire on the ground, right? You want to avoid this fire. It, it moves in a counter or it moves in a clockwise motion. So the ground will heat up and it will turn purple. Those purple flames are what you want to avoid. You want to move to the next part of the map that is not purple. What's currently flaming will go stop flaming as the next part heats up in a clockwise motion. I'm using robot big hands here. Each wave, there's going to be two mini bosses that spawn in the middle of the room. Those are going to be the main focus. You want to try and move all the ads towards the middle of the room if possible. The mini bosses spawn last. Good job on the road by big hands. Excuse me. So this next part, 
it's going to be an obstacle course. I would make sure you have full health before going to this obstacle course. All right, so the easiest way to do this is to turn your screen to the left and hug the left wall. This is because the bombs will hit you if you do not. So you wanna inch as close to the fire as possible and then shift through the fire. Have to be careful to avoid those bombs. So inch as close to the fire as possible and then shift through it. If you rush, then you'll get hit pretty hard and the fire will suck you in. You have to shift as soon as it goes away. So it's usually best to make sure you have full stamina before attempting an obstacle course or at least a good amount. You don't have any respawn in kryptonite? Just stay there, we'll, we'll go through the portal. So you want to hysteria before this portal, if you have it. And this is gonna be the boss. He has three main attacks to watch out for. He, he drops a black Joker mask on the ground. That's a huge AOE. He drops fire AOEs, magma pools on the ground. Don't stand in those, they hurt. And he also will um, do a in the air Joker mask in front of him. His main damaging seals is that fire magma on the ground though. Just make sure you're not standing in that. There's the Joker mask. Good job. Honestly, the hardest part of that raid is the obstacle course. 